Hey there! Hey, this is Vic from Falcon and I have got a new toy right here in my hands. It is the hydraulic spring coil suspension from DNM, straight from Taiwan, right to us at the Zero Factory. And we are excited to show you how to install it to replace your old uh, pure spring coil, which is this one, right? This is come standard in the stock Zero 10X. It doesn't have the hydraulic fluid inside to dampen the shock or the rebound. So this one is good as it is, but we want to show you something that's slightly different. It's a lot lighter because the spring is actually smaller, but because it's got that fluid uh, inside this chamber, right in the middle core, it actually does a lot of dampening um, on, your, on your shocks. Okay, so this is a 135mm eye to eye, and we'll show you how to install it on your Zero 10X. Okay, so to start off, we'll put this aside. Right, these are some of the tools you need. So let's show you how to remove your existing suspension and replace it with the hydraulic spring coil. Okay, remove the plastic guards. Uh, on your Zero 10X, well this is a special edition, but on your Zero 10X you wouldn't have the wire coming out like that, right? So don't worry about too much about it. Uh, what you really want to do is just to remove the motor nut, right? This motor axle nut, so that the motor can come off. Right? You don't have to remove the whole motor, so that's a good thing because you know, we know how much pain the ass removing the motor can be. Okay, so remove the brake brackets. Slide up your brake calipers. Next, remove the front fenders. Okay. There is a uh, a wire bracket here, so we move that. Uh, right, you don't have to remove the whole thing, just shift it aside so your motor cable has room to has room to uh, slacken off. Okay, so just take note this is a special edition. It has two motor wires, but on yours you just have to care about it for a single side. So motor clips on both sides uh, only for this edition but on your standard 010X it's only on one side. Okay you can start to release the motor nut. So Okay, there you have it. Right, the motor is removed. You don't have to disconnect the motor cables right here. Once the scooter is propped on the very low bench, they have enough slack to be able to be laid on the ground. So that's save you a little bit of hassle uh, in removing the wires. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so once the motor is off, you have access. Right, you have access to the nuts here. You have access to the. Uh, there is a shaft. Right, the suspension shaft that holds the bottom of the suspension. So this is extremely important because this is where uh, most of the load bearing uh, force uh, is at, right? So most of the force of the suspension, as you make a jump, it is on the shaft, right? So we have to remove that. Okay, so proceed to Loosen up one side of the swing arm. So in our case, you only have to remove one side of the swing arm. You don't need to remove uh, both sides there. 
Okay, slide it up. You want to be sure to do it gently. Okay. Just slowly wiggle it up. There you go. So that's out. Okay, so now we have to release this screw here. There you go. Right. So the shaft, as you can see, the shaft you it will slide up, and you can then you can take it out. Right. So there will be uh, the bushing already inside, both on the bottom and the top, which is what slides into this uh, shaft here. Right. So we're gonna replace it with this. You know, which also already has the bushing inside, right? So there's, it's actually a very easy swap. Okay. So slide the shaft through that bushing and through the other side. There you go. And now for the bottom shaft. Right, you want to check that the bottom shaft is not bent in any way. Right, if it's bent, um, it means that you know there's a very forceful impact on it, and it's a good chance as you're changing this shock, it's a good chance for you to um, to change out that shaft. Let me tell you a little bit about this hydraulic spring cord. It is a 1,100 pound um, uh, spring, so that's the that's the uh, payload it can take for it to uh, to depress one inch, right? So these are how springs are measured. So if you uh, can take a payload of so the, the spring tension is 1,100 pounds per inch. So it can take more than 1,100 pounds of force, which equates to about 500 kilos or more. Make sure your bottom shaft here is uh, not bent. Otherwise, you know, we, adv we advise you to change it up because it is where it is this shaft that takes most of the shock and the load as you, you know, go through the terrain with your scooter. Right, so all the shock, uh, most of the force is on the shaft here, the steel shaft. Okay, so let's put back the other swing arm and then we are good to go. So one of the things that you want to take note of is that as you slide that motor axle back into the hole, into the uh, slit, you will uh, have a little bit of difficulty because you know there's going to be some friction, right? So we're going to show you how to do it in a safe and uh, proper manner. So you know, take your time to slide it in. I make sure that if there's a uh, if it's jammed, remove the whole thing 
and then try to slide it in back in again. Alright, so the whole process shouldn't take more than half an hour. Cable clips back so that they don't get uh, they don't get uh, hooked onto anything. Replace the front fenders. All right, so we're just gonna fast forward. Yeah, this is the boring part. But there's no need to adjust anything on this hydraulic spring coils because they're pre-adjusted. Uh, it's literally a one-for-one -one swap and there's no maintenance to them anymore at all. So unlike show you here, unlike the air shock here, right, where you have to periodically pressurize the air shock uh, with a high pressure pump. Right, for those, for the spring coils, for the hydraulic spring coils, it's all pre-adjusted and they would never lose the pressure for, um, well the spring would lose its tension after a while, right, but the hydraulic fluid will always be there. Uh, of course, there's a chance that it may leak, but that's a very small chance unless there's a very large force of pressure that's, uh, that's going to burst the chamber, the oil chamber. Over time, yes, the spring gear would lose its tension, but you never get, you never have to uh, maintain it in any way, unlike the air shocks. Right. So lastly, secure the plastic guards that protect the wires and the motor nut. And make sure your bricks are aligned. So that's one important thing because you have removed the brick pads or brick calipers. So make sure the bricks are aligned and that there's no rubbing on the brick pads. Okay, are we done?